The world of Cowboy Bebop is intricate and colorful. Rife with space travel, diverse and multicultural planets and unique socio-economical and political structures. Being a heavily stylized genre mass featuring a wide range of musical moods, the original Cowboy Bebop anime emerged as a classic due to its subtle yet solid in-world detail and lore. Set in the not too distant future, the world inhabited by humans is markedly different from the current real world, both in terms of living conditions and structural aesthetics. The world of Cowboy Bebop also exudes a dated retro urban feel, reflected in the hardware, clothing and lifestyle choices of the characters that inhabit the various planets across the solar system. Bounty hunting emerged as a mainstream and legit mode of making a living one that is rife with risk and imminent danger. Although the payout, if consistent enough, allows one to embody a fairly comfortable existence. This of course implies a rise in crime, so much so that massive bounties are placed on dangerous criminals, who mostly operate in gangs for a plethora of reasons. But you might think, what exactly happened that the world got changed in such a drastic way in few decades? What happened to our modern lifestyle where everyone lived a comfortable life by depending on the non-renewable resources of the earth? Nothing good comes from the earth anymore. Jet Black. He said that because of few reasons. In the world of Cowboy Bebop, the earth is the third planet from the sun in the solar system and the origin of human beings just like it is now. In the year 2021, an astral gate exploded above Earth in an event known as Astral Gate Accident. The explosion destroyed most of the Earth's moon, causing a near-constant natural disaster of rock showers falling into the orbit and hitting the planet's surface. After that accident, most of the Earth's population migrated to other worlds or moved underground. The few that remained typically lived in ruined settlements, often with a respectable semblance of society and order, though they are typically regarded as insane and uncivilized by intergalactic societies. The surface of the earth was completely unrecognizable as features such as land carvings were completely obliterated. The majority of cities that are still standing are otherwise ruined and largely inhabitable. Though they are shown to contain a large amount of otherwise functional technology from ages before the gate incident, which are left untouched and unreachable by most survivors. The people of Earth communicated with other planets through a network of satellites, and a new astral gate was built in 2071. Regardless, Earth is generally ignored by humanity as a whole now, and that's why nothing good ever comes from Earth is said. Before the 21st century, humankind only lived on Earth and explored space on missions. In the 21st century, however, humankind traveled to several other planets and moons to colonize them. Hyperspace technology allowed to travel in days both people and package deliveries. As mankind traveled back and forth in the solar system, trash was discarded and collected in various areas. Politics, society and economics changed with the time. New generations grew up with no memories of Earth, and ethnic groups and nations gave way to planetary allegiances. As these new communities flourished, the economy boomed, similar to the economy productivity nations encountered after World War II. However, this also widened the disparity between the rich and poor, and the interplanetary crime syndicates began to exert influence over the planetary governments and the Inter-Solar System Police, which are ISSP in short. In order to control the criminal activity, a bounty reward scheme was introduced similar to that of the Old West. These new bounty hunters of the solar system were therefore often called as cowboys and had a disreputable and envious reputation depending on who one talked to. Technology of the era was a mix of old and new technologies. Individuals could own cars or spaceships and freely travel the solar system if they had Wulongs, their currency. It's not just this, but all planets are also divided to fulfill specific purposes for human survival. The first one is Mercury. Mercury is the innermost and smallest planet in the solar system. A space station near Ganymede advertised imports from Mercury. Ganymede was terraformed in the 21st century by heating its original thick layer of ice to reveal a great seawater ocean underneath. With very little natural landforms, 
Ganymede had a prominent commercial fishing industry to harvest animals such as Ganymede rock lobster and the endangered Ganymede sea rat. As the moon was on the outskirts of inhabited space, it did not have access to many new technologies before the astral gate system reached it. Jet Black was born on Ganymede in 2035 and worked as an officer of the ISSP there along with Bob and Donnelly. The next planet is Venus. Venus is the second planet of the solar system. It was terraformed in the 21st century and had an astral gate. Using floating islands covered in plants which converted carbon dioxide to oxygen through photosynthesis, Venus had a breathable atmosphere. Venus did not have any natural seas, so most of its surface was a vast desert. The atmosphere of Venus had a high content of helium which caused people to speak in high-pitched voice, but was otherwise harmless. Pills could be taken orally to counteract the voice modulation. Some of these plants had an adverse side effect in humans called Venus sickness. This airborne disease caused blindness in some people who came in contact with the spores. The grey ash plants cured Venus sickness but it is extremely rare and expensive to purchase it. It is thus a valuable part of the black market trade on Venus. The next planet is Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun in the solar system and it was terraformed in 21st century and became the most populated planet. Mars was sometimes nicknamed as red planet because of its reddish appearance due to iron oxide prevalent on its surface. According to Spike, Mars was a good planet to live on if you are rich. Mars colonies were mostly built inside largely craters of the surface, covered by artificial atmosphere that was constantly replenished through large devices at the edge. In this way, a colony could be established with atmospheric and climatic features similar to those of Earth. Large cables connected different crater cities and covered highways allowed to travel in between. Tharsis city and Alba city were two cities on Mars. The next thing in the solar system is Bohemian junk heap. The Bohemian junk heap was a large combination of discarded technology, including destroyed astral gate and ship parts melted together into a plant like Mars. It was inhabited by an assorted group of elderly people and hippies adopting a carefree lifestyle. There is no law, police or nationality there. As a non-maintained structure, it lacked gravity in several places, though it has an oxygenated atmosphere. Chessmaster Hex inhabited the junk heap later in the life after he left the Gate Corporation. He spent a lot of time playing e-chess. The three old men also visited the junk heap frequently and knew Hex. The crew of the Bebop visited the junk heap in 2071 to find Hex having traced him over there. Jonathan stayed over there and adopted the lifestyle while the Bebop crew left. The next thing in the solar system is asteroid belt. The asteroid belt was made of asteroids between Mars and Jupiter. Several asteroids were mined such as Lunas mine and some were inhabited like Tijuana. The next planet is Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth and the largest planet in the solar system. There were several terraformed colonies on its moon. More of Jupiter's moon were mapped such as Metis, Adrestia, Amalthea and Thebe. Due to the presence of several colonies, there were several astral gates in orbit over there. The next planet or we can say the moon is Titan. Titan was the moon of Saturn and was terraformed in the 21st century. Its climate was largely deserted with windstorms. Titan was the site of Titan war and subsequently underwent scaring from its conflicts. When Grain confronted Vicious about his role in testifying against him, he was critically injured. He asked Spike Spiegel to get his ship going into the direction of Titan so he could die there. Its climate was largely desert with windstorms. The next planet is Neptune and Neptune was the next planet after Uranus and nothing else was mentioned about it except this. The next and the last planet after that is Pluto. Pluto was the last major orbiting body in the solar system. It has a poison colony in 2071 and there was a maximum security penetrary on the planet. The penetrary received a forward a turtle express package addressed to Fane Valentine sometime in the early mid 21st century. Many different things like characters, story and music makes Cowboy Bebop a great anime to watch of all time. 
but people mostly ignore that world building also plays a big part in making the anime more entertaining. Its vast and detailed world makes it fun to ride through Bebop with our main characters from planet to planet and explore the world as the story slowly moves forward. What are your thoughts about the world building of Cowboy Bebop? Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post daily anime content about top 10 top 5 listings, anime reviews, recommendations, news, theories and all sorts of anime content on daily basis. So if you enjoyed, please subscribe and that was it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.